Hey guys, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you a software tour of the OS found on the Samsung Mythic. This is a new updated version of Samsung's proprietary OS called TouchWiz, and incorporates some things that we haven't seen before in previous TouchWiz devices. Let's go ahead and get started, and this is a new phone for AT&T Wireless that you can pick up for $199 after rebates on a new two-year contract. So the first change you're going to see is on the unlock screen. You've got a new touch and hold to unlock and notification rows across the bottom that tell you what you have. So if you've got some missed calls, if you have emails, if you've got voicemail and a slew of other messages, you can sort of customize that and you always know if you've got one, two, three, or if zero and nobody loves you. So let's go ahead and unlock the phone and we'll do that using the new method to hold and unlock. You can see the backgrounds also keep changing every time I come back so now I've got a butterfly. If I let it uh, expire and come back, the background will change again. Let's go ahead, we'll hold down that to unlock. And now we've got sort of a familiar looking screen with the little bar on the side that will pull out the widgets. And you've got this new sort of three row indicator on the top. And that's because you've got three home screens. Uh, this is a resistive touch screen, so it's sort of squishy. I'll get to the screen when I go over my full review of the device. So as you can see, I can sort of scroll through and I get that dynamic sort of scrolling. The background image changes, similar to what you see on, uh, on an Android device. So that's nice to have a lot of uh, screen real estate. One of the downsides of the TouchWiz was that the widgets took up a lot of space. And now you've got three screens in which to use them. So here is the widget bar. And you can pick any widget you want and sort of drag it off to the home screen. So we'll take a uh, music one. can drag it off there. Now I've got a music player. I can hide it. I can move this really anywhere I'd like. So before, when you're limited to just what you can put on one screen, you can now scroll over to the next one. And put all your widgets there to your heart's content. You can widgetize uh, everything you like. This does have uh, mobile TV in it, which is sort of a cool feature. It also has some MSN advanced connectivity that you guys can add uh, for a little bit of an extra charge. So we'll keep going. We don't want to add a new birthday. You can see the OS is certainly not without its hiccups. Uh, so you've got sort of a new and redesigned menu structure, structure as well. It looks very similar to what you find on the uh, Samsung Instinct, for example. All the icons are sort of held within their own square, and you can now scroll through to see the different uh, menu icons. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, the keyboard for a minute. So we'll go into Message, and we'll tap or rotate to add text. I've always been um, a relatively big fan of actually the keyboards that Samsung has put on their devices, and the soft keyboards in particular. Uh, when you have it just in portrait, you can sort of get your standard array that you'd see on a normal flip phone or, or slider phone. You can use T9 if you'd like, and you can sort of pick what you're looking for. So numeric, symbols, emoticons, which are those silly smiley faces. Um, but it does have an accelerometer, so when you turn it, you get a full keyboard. Now like, the keyboards here are interesting because as you move your finger over you can sort of see what letter you're typing, which is something that I really like on these soft keyboards. Sometimes you can't see what you're typing. So let me do a keyboard test for you and we'll see how accurate this is and if the Samsung's good keyboards have held up on the Mythic. So we'll do my usual thing, this is a test, and see how it works. And you can definitely see autocorrect in, in action there. This is a tier, is what I ended up typing. Not entirely accurate, but I'm not completely familiar with the keyboard on the device. I'm not used to it yet. I think it's one of those things that as you get used to it, you'll become more and more accurate. So overall, it's a pretty usable keyboard and a pretty usable OS. Certainly, I'll talk about the hardware and how the OS is implemented during the review. But I've had a lot of requests to show how the phone works and show the new TouchWiz interface. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is John Rettinger. For exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo and get all your tech news and create your own tech blogs and uh, interact with our new social network, check out, of course, technobuffalo.com. Links to both of those will be in the sidebar. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.